President had many of you reaching out and asking about the safety precautions regarding the current New Harbor Bridge and the new one, of course, at the Port of Corpus Christi. Our Bill Churchwell checked in with officials and he joins us now with details on that. Bill. Well, the incident in Baltimore may have taken place hundreds of miles away. Port of Corpus Christi officials are paying close attention to any waterway collision that takes place around the world. Learning from that investigation and implementing any additional safety recommendations that might come out of it. With thousands of ships that travel through the Port of Corpus Christi, safety is always paramount. We do a lot here to try to mitigate the risks that are inherent to the industry. Kent Britton is the chief executive officer at the port. While he is keeping a watchful eye on the unfolding situation in Baltimore, here at home, there are a number of features that set our port apart from others. One of the most noticeable is how both the current and new harbor bridges are designed. The columns do not sit in the water, but rather on land. Another key safety measure, the Port of Corpus Christi has a tug assist policy. Those ships have a pilot on board who knows this waterway um, and they have tugs with them when they're here in the inner harbor uh, going past Ingleside and then for our largest class of ships also as they go through Port Aransas. There's also inspections of those ships for seaworthiness by the Coast Guard. We have a ship channel for the most part that's dredged through a bay that is somewhat shallow, right? And so the ship channel is 530 feet wide. It's sloped, it's basically a ditch. There's not a lot to run into. When we get together and we train and we train and we train and, and multiple different scenarios. Assistant CCFD Chief so Kenneth Urban says like local first responders take part in exercises every year to prepare them for the unthinkable. Like this drill that happened back in August and involved multiple agencies and simulated a passenger vehicle hitting a barge that required a recovery effort of people who may have fallen in the water. We have three boats that can respond in the water. Um, we have 14 ambulances, but we also have an ambulance that's capable of transporting 21 people at one time. The training exercises have helped local agencies identify hazards and work together in times of emergency. Harvey was kind of our first test of that. We learned a lot and so we made improvements. We run multiple exercises throughout the year. Truly is a team effort, and when it comes to the safety of the new Harbor Bridge, Flatiron Dragato is sharing key points, which includes a taller clearance, tower footings that are located on land, eliminating potential conflicts with shipping traffic, and we'll have much more safety feature information on our website. Back to you.